Yes, well, that was never going to end well for Sir Deacon St. John, but hello, everyone. My name is Dean Knight, and uh, this will be my first, I think it's my first, game review. And I'm really, uh, well, I've got a lot to say about Days Gone on PS4, playing it on the PS4 Pro, standard. And, well, I didn't watch too many reviews for this game. I saw the one from uh, ACG, like him. Uh, it's is his name Carrick? I think so. And then uh, I heard that the IGN review gave it a 6 out of 10, which I don't think I've actually... Maybe I've seen the IGN review. I might need to go check that out. I was just showing here that you couldn't shoot the, the zombie uh, once they're dead on the floor, which bugs me. Um, okay, obviously, with stuff like Red Dead, I mean, they really go for it. Um, you know, not that you'd want to stand over a corpse continually shooting it, but you got to... It's the little things in games, man. you got to be able to shoot light bulbs out. you got to be able to... If one were so inclined, shoot a corpse once it's uh, there on the floor. Look at the detail on the ground. Be silly. Look at that. That looks real. That is just some random bit of earth that I uh, was just standing on. Pause the game. And, um, well, not pause the game. I was just looking down at the ground and thought, bloody hell, that looks real. Uh, this game is gorgeous. Um, and I've got to say, this is important because it's true. I ain't no idiot. I've played a bunch of games. I'm 38 years old. I've been playing games since the Atari... Uh, whatever it was, playing Centipede on that. Uh, you know, had all the Nintendos, all the early Nintendos with the original Mario Brothers games. Look at that horde. Look at them. Oh. Bloody hell. Yep, not a good time to, to stall or uh, run out of gas or bang into something and come to a stop. But anyway, um, yeah, so I've been playing games a long time, played them all, and, you know, there's been some really significant games that have come along. Uh, I remember GTA 3, the first one, where it was a you know, proper open world, 3D world. I remember that and the feeling it gave me like to be able to explore a virtual world like that and get away with whatever you wanted to, you know, all the crimes you could think of. Uh, and then obviously, you know, now we've got stuff like Red Dead 2, which has pushed to quite a few boundaries. Um, but, I, you know, there's a, there's a lot to talk about. But this is my first real game review. And the first thing I want to say about Days Gone is it feels and looks and sounds to me like it was made by Rockstar. And that's that's a lot to say. And I mean it. I really do. I think this game really reminds me of Red Dead Redemption. And it also reminds me a little bit of The Last of Us. A lot of people have made jokes saying it's like um, Red Dead Redemption and The Last of Us had a baby and this is what we get. And it's, you know, very true. The game is stunning to look at. And it's just... I love the little details, needing to um, fuel up your bike, keep an eye on the fuel tank, uh, repair your bike if you bang into too much stuff, and look at those guys burning up. This one guy was left behind, took him out with a one shot to the dome here, check this out. Booyah, there you go, that's accuracy right there. Um, you can change the uh, settings in the game to make it easier to hit your target. I uh, had every all the things on, basically off so that I could uh, make it really challenging. Then I realized how hard the game was. And uh, you got to be careful, man. Don't go out at night. I don't go out at night anymore. I just uh, sleep through the night, get up in the day, take care of my business. And unless the story mode, you know, deems it necessary, then I venture out at night. I wanted to get some nighttime footage for you. So, uh, you know, I went ahead and did that. But got to hunt a little bit of elk here or deer or elk, whatever they are. And um, get me some meat, bring it back to my brother who's, uh, well, I won't spoil story stuff for you. But so far the story's alright. People were saying the game was too short. At least I saw one person say it was short. But that's that's not true. I mean, I'm only about 24% through the game at the moment. That's what it says on my progress, uh, progress stats. 24%. And I've been playing it since it came out on Friday. Uh, it's now Monday. And I've been playing it pretty hardcore, man. I ain't even scratch the surface really um the map unless the map changes halfway through the story and you go to a different location because i did see in one of the clips there was like some snow somewhere maybe that's just up in the mountains or something but uh the map's big but it's not too big oh my goodness this is hilarious watch this oh man oh god oh that's uh <laughs> it just makes me laugh man the hordes Here's another one. Oh, this is a uh, oh shit. This is one of those oh shit moments. Uh, it's not really a review. It's me just watching what the foot the footage I've captured and talking about it with you. 
Uh, but I will give you a review at the end of this, trust me. Or I'll give you a score or something. Anyway, check this out. I'm looking at the zombie horde. They're all walking along and thinking, okay, I'm just far, you know, I'm far away. They're not going to see me. I'm in the long grass here, so I'm hidden. And I'm just admiring the, uh, the horde as they pass by. And then I realized, hang on a minute. They sound closer than they look. And then I realized that they're coming from this direction as well. And I'm totally, totally screwed. This is the why I was laughing just a minute ago is because I thought this was that clip. Um, yeah, it, this doesn't go well. You can see this one gets a bit too close and he spots me. Yeah, he takes a little swipe at me and I start running. And obviously I, I have to run the wrong direction, don't I? So now I come face to face with that huge horde now. Um, yeah, what, look, I'm just spill over the top of that like a waterfall of death. Oh, man. And then I uh, lob a Molotov cocktail. Managed to light a few of them on fire, but absolutely pointless. You can't, you probably can outrun this horde if your stamina is high enough. My, my points have been going towards health, and oh my god, look, trying to take a, a, a go at least, just <laughs> trying to capture a little bit of dignity there. Nah, a bit of photography coming up for you. Just yeah, I love the bike. Look at that. There's my steed right there. That's my that's my steed out there in the in the wilderness out there in the jungle out there in the, the woods. There's a nice little shot of me doing my tending to my business. Just going back to my headquarters. Got my stuff. Got my my uh, trophies, bounties, and such. Um, beautiful world. And like I said before, this to me looks, feels, sounds, plays like a rock star game. Um, if I didn't know and you know, completely clueless about the game, didn't know anything about it, and someone gave me the disc, well, someone just put the game in the console and said, play this, it's a new Rockstar game, I would have believed them, totally would have believed them, I mean, just look at the graphics, take a little jump down here, investigate this camp, can't see any blood anywhere, something happened, something went down, they left in a hurry, uh, found some scrap, fireplace, that's been there a while, uh, it's interesting, Hmm. Anyway, back on my steed. Look at the wind, the rain, uh, the weather changes quite drastically. And the day and night cycle is nice and long. Oh, there's a nice little moment here where um, the deer were uh, kind of just doing their own thing. This one here wasn't having any of it. It was like, I ain't scared of you, mister. So I just rolled on by. Nice bit of camera work there by me, keeping it cinematic. Always try to keep it cinematic for you guys when I'm uh, going to be uploading the gameplay. I try to move that camera around, let you see what's going on. Uh, look at the deers. Yeah. Got off my bike and uh, found this little cave here. For okay, this is not going to be good. There's going to be something in here that's going to kill me. But luckily, uh, there wasn't much going on in here. It was kind of creepy, though. There was uh, some bones and, and such. The animation on... Uh, Deacon, is that his name? I forget it. Deacon St. John, I think that's the one. Uh, he's not the most likable character I've ever played in a game, that's for sure. More cool weather effects there. The graphics, can't stress this enough. The graphics are gorgeous. It really does feel and look like a, like one of those big, you know, I mean, like, it is a big budget title. A lot of time has been put into this. I remember seeing this game, like a teaser bit of footage of gameplay or whatever, a long time ago, like years ago, and now it's finally out, and me personally, I, I'm liking it, man. I think it's worth the wait. Now, IGN gave it a 6 out of 10, apparently, or a 6.5 out of 10, something like that. 6-ish. Uh, other people saying 7 is a good score. Yeah, you know, I, I'd be I'd be okay with a 7. Me personally, though, I'd drop an 8 on this thing. Forget about it. 8, 8, 8. Yeah, man. Uh, beautiful game. Great atmosphere. Uh, the daytime is a great time to play because of the beautiful sun effects, the sun glare, and the the weather and the beautiful landscapes and the altitude you can sort of go up mountains and there's bases up at the top of mountains that overlook the rest of the forests and stuff it's just really it's hard to cover all of the um i tried to get as much variation as possible in the footage here i love the way you can uh, petrol up your bike here uh, refuel you have to go looking for the petrol uh, canisters here and fill up your bike and then i also uh, did a little repair job here because i came down a bit harsh on the landing Get that fixed up for you there. Okay. Back on. And then we just reverse our butts out of this situation right here. There's nothing around. It's all good. It's all good. It's calm. Just a bit of rain. Nothing to worry about. Oh, those police cars. Uh, that's where you get your ammo. You can buy ammo from the camps. You make friends with uh, you know various fractions or whatever you want to call it. But if you ever see a police car uh, just lying around somewhere, uh, always check the boot because they got ammo in there. 
and um, like when you see the tow trucks like where I got my petrol from just then they always have a petrol uh, canister for your bike to refuel uh, one thing you definitely got to do is you got to upgrade your bike quite fast not fast but prioritize that like any money and any spending points you get from doing some early missions uh upgrade your fuel tank because it's a real pain in the butt until you do that uh your fuel runs out super quick but once you get that first upgrade it becomes a bit more um yeah it's just not as bothersome as it was before and now i've actually got the third fuel tank um, so I'm good now. It's like any time I fill up my tank now, I know that I'm good for a good long journey. I don't really have to keep thinking about the fuel thing, and it just naturally works itself out as I go around the world. I'll spot the fuel canister and think, okay, I might as well top up. Oh, look, I'm only down to 70%. Usually I'll be down to 0% by now. Uh, just checking out the details on the world here, just checking out the sign for the uh, factory. Some more photography here. That's one of the first pictures I took. The way he's looking down, just like, oh, I'm going to die. <laughs> Uh, taking out some zombie scum here. They don't call them zombies in the game. They call them freakers. And in Walking Dead, they call them walkers. Which walkers was always a stupid thing to me. If I was a character in that show, the first thing I'd say is, why'd you call them walkers? It was like, because that's what they do. It's like, yeah, but that's what we do. We're we're, we're, we're walkers. You know, what's wrong with calling them zombies? Is it copyrighted or something? Or are they just is that like a like a, a guilty pleasure word or something? Or a, I mean, they're zombies man well maybe they're not zombies in this i don't know apparently they're just cannibals that have gone crazy and, but i don't know are they even zombies in this the comment section is going to light up say well actually they're not really zombies <laughs> uh speaking of um zombies about to skid into the cemetery here which is very creepy wanted to get a little bit of footage of this cemetery for you because of the nice mist and the fog on the you know just the, the atmosphere in here is very creepy Probably just the time of night and the weather cycle that's going on that makes it look like this. It's not just the middle of the cemetery and everything's covered in mist. Uh, it might be, but yeah, it certainly is creepy around here. What else can I tell you? Yeah, so I give it an 8. A solid 8. A nice big brass bronzy 8. 9 being silver, 10 being gold. Uh, so he gets a nice bronze 8. Even that feels a little bit like I'm cheating it, to be honest. There's nothing wrong with this game, man. There's, I haven't experienced any bugs, really. Um, I've experienced more bugs in Red Dead 2 than I have in this. That's for sure. I had flying goats and all kinds of crazy stuff going on. See, here's the police uh, car there. Scattered around the place. And, uh, pry open that boot. Snatch yourself up some ammo. And then quickly beat down any zombie fool who dares to uh, mess with ye. Oh, look, he's talking back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Rick James. <laughs> you ain't shit. Um, so, weapons. Yeah. One thing that was bugging me early on when I first started playing the game was how if I pack, uh, picked up a brand new axe, big metal heavy axe, kill like four zombies with it and it breaks. Uh, durability ain't for shit. So, again, like with the motorcycle, your bike, uh, you want to upgrade uh, or get the ability to um, fix your or repair your melee weapons on the fly. Uh, and you do that by just correct, uh, collecting scrap that you'll find everywhere. Uh, so now if I find a cool melee weapon that I really like, uh, at least I can fix it when I get a spare minute and just bring it right back up to 100% uh, you know, freshness. And yeah, can just carry on using that weapon. So everything that was bugging me in the beginning uh, is all stuff that you quickly upgrade and gets rid of the frustration of it, you know, very quickly. And you're just left with a very atmospheric, gorgeous, brilliant game that just a lot of the time will make you think of Red Dead. It's just the setting and the fact that it's very much the relationship between your bike and you. Just the way it was your horse and you in the game of Red Dead. It's just the Harley, or no, it's not the Harley, but it sounds like a Harley to me. I don't know Jack Diddley about bikes, but maybe you can get a Harley later on. And remember, I'm only about 24% through the game, so I don't know if I can really review something when I haven't even finished it yet. But it's a big game, man. Uh, it's a gift that keeps on giving. I went ahead. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad that I got it, and I'm glad moreover that I actually uh, spent an extra £15 and bought the special edition. Uh, I went into game, um, the store in the UK, and just kind of randomly went in. I suddenly remembered I was out and about anyway on my travels, and I thought, oh yeah, Days Gone's out. Maybe I should get it. Oh, and I like the way you can pull in here and actually, you know, petrol up using the actual <laughs> gas station here, which I don't think you can ever do that in a GTA game, but now 
I mean, that's the kind of detail I like. If I see a petrol station, I'm low on fuel, I think I should be able to gas up. And you can in this. And forgive my awful driving there, by the way. It's just, you know, it's, it takes a bit of getting used to taming this particular two-wheeled beast. But, uh, oh, and here's one of the cabs. I like this, with the way you roll up. They take a minute to recognize you. Uh, I'll give them a little flash of the lights here just to let them know. It's all good. It's me. Let me in. Had a hard night of uh, zombie slaying. Yeah, man. There's all the other bikes. I don't know. Probably forgetting to finish uh, things that I started talking about. I see things on the screen and start talking about that. Here's the photo mode, which every you know PlayStation exclusive game seems to have. Which great, you know. Thank God, I'm one of the people who loves photo mode and the fact that you can change his facial expression. Look how happy he is that he's about to get torn to pieces. <laughs> that is hilarious. Um, I love it. I love the game. Eight and a half. Eight and a half out of ten. Forget about it. I've got no complaints. What can I complain about? Negatives. Right, negatives. Uh, the character isn't the most likable person. Like I said, uh, that's one thought that I didn't finish earlier. Um, he's all right. He... Yeah, other people have mentioned that. I think it was uh, ACG review. Oh, here's another moment here with the horde chasing me down. Yeah, but I think he mentioned as well, he's not the most likable, playable character. But then again, think about the world that this guy is in. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you were starving every day, desperately struggling to survive and having to go out and risk your life to find scraps and stuff to make things and just to survive, you probably wouldn't be the cheeriest bloke in the world. So it's actually quite forgivable for a game like this. I mean, they're probably just keeping it real with the character. Uh, the melee fighting system here that you can see there, it's pretty satisfying. Uh, the gunplay, I've heard people say, is not the most, you know, it's not the most, what's the word? It's all right, it's fine. Uh, like, I, like I showed you at the very beginning, once a character that you've killed falls on the ground, you can shoot them all day long and nothing will ever react to it. It's just, it's one of those things where they didn't quite just, you know, for whatever reason, they didn't go the full hog with that. Um, yeah, here you can see I'm having trouble getting a headshot until he's right in front of me. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the gunplay is all right. Uh, out of 10, I'd give, you know, just the whole handling of the guns and firing them i give that a seven out of ten it's definitely not the best it's not quite up there with an actual rockstar game like red dead or gta mind you gta is probably not on the uh, the top list for that kind of thing red dead's a lot better when it comes to gunplay than gta i find um uh, but yeah just again this really just look at it that looks like red dead redemption and plus with the uh, zombie mode that was in the original red dead uh, undead nightmare it's uh even more similar in a kind of weird way but that's a good thing that's uh, i was saying to my buddy nick was like you got to pick this up because i know you love red dead uh, and this is very very close to that kind of thing and i'm like i said i'm only 24 percent through the story so i'm looking forward to finishing this video and getting back to playing so um hopefully i'll uh, hopefully this god awful review will do somewhat okay on the channel I'll get some feedback from you guys hopefully in the comments section if you can remember to like the video or dislike it if you didn't like it um but maybe i can bring you a spider-man on ps4 review because i love that game and i love to talk about it and maybe some other stuff as well there's a bunch of games that i'd like to talk about but yeah man this was days gone and uh yeah highly recommended i've had a few people when i post stuff on instagram say is it worth it they're on the fence and stuff well if you're listening definitely get off the fence uh, like I said, I bought the special edition, so I got a lovely steel book, um, gorgeous art book as well. Uh, these were some random dudes that I came across just going about their business. They're not zombies, they're people, um, but they are the enemy. So they all got dealt with in due course, but I just wanted to watch them for a little while and see what they're up to. Look at the gorgeous graphics. The draw distance is insane. Actually, uh, while I, before I forget, this game reminds me a little bit of uh, something that happened with Ghost Recon Wildlands, which I was almost put off getting because all the reviews said, don't even bother with Ghost, uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands if you're playing it single player because it's really only made for multiplayer ended up getting it anyway ignored the reviews and had one of the best like oh played that game for like a year loved ghost recon wildlands so sometimes you just don't listen to the reviews the big dogs out there because they don't seem to know what's going on this game is awesome pick it up uh days gone ps4 absolutely loving it so far eight out of ten we'll leave it at eight out of ten i think that's fair uh but maybe i'll let you know more later all right